to, to help us understand a little bit the ways in which understanding their diverse agendas makes us see the woman suffrage movement in a way that we hadn't seen it before. So one of the things that I really want people to take away after reading the book is that despite the title saying how women of color transformed the suffrage movement, that's not a unified group. They are unified in that they share some things. Um, they share uh, the experience of being discriminated against, um, of being disenfranchised and facing a lot of prejudice in uh, the United States, but they all come to advocate for suffrage from reasons that really grow out of their own experiences and their own community's experiences. Um, so as I tell their stories, I try to sort of show where they're overlapping, but where they're not. And I think this really does um, force us to think differently about the suffrage story, because it isn't a single story. And I'll say that um, scholars of African American history, right, I'm really uh, grateful to a number of scholars who had been writing about Black women um, and, and making the, the point that they are suffragists, um, but they're coming out of different traditions. I wanted to start thinking about um, sort of other women from other groups and how questions about citizenship, race and eth ethnicity, and, and region really matter when we start thinking about, you know, the multiple suffrage stories that go into making up the suffrage movement.